The new Raspberry Pi has been released, so it's time to examine it more closely. Do I need a fan or is the heatsink enough? For this test you have to know that the Pi has two limits. If the CPU gets over 80 degrees Celsius, then the clock frequency is reduced. If the temperature exceeds 85 degrees, then the clock frequency is reduced even more and the computer becomes slower. The temperature should therefore always be below 80 degrees. First, I tested the Pi without a heatsink, fan and cover. When idle, the Pi's temperature is 47 degrees Celsius. My room has a temperature of 21 degrees Celsius. The time is plotted on the x-axis. I measured a little over 7 minutes. The temperature is plotted on the y-axis. First, I measured what happens if 4, 3, 2 and 1 cores are loaded all the time. With more than 2 cores, the limit is reached pretty quickly. You can only work with one core for a longer time without reaching the limit. I am not sure if it will stay below the limit in the summer also. Uncooled, a Pi can only be used for light tasks, such as reading and writing emails or programming an Arduino. An uncooled solution is not recommended for gaming or watching videos. Now, what's about a good fan? I catch the biggest fan I had. It's designed to cool rooms, drives a power of 65 watts. The wing diameter is about 35 cm. Of course, much too loud. When idling, the Pi reaches a maximum of 27 degree and under full load a maximum of 55 degree. Let's check if the official case is just as good. First I tested without a heatsink and without a cover but with 100% ventilation. When idling the Pi reached a maximum of 29 degree and under full load a maximum of 60 degree. So not much worse than the big fan but still annoying loud. The green line shows the temperature curve with the temperature controlled ventilation. The fan didn't seem to be running at maximum and there's still some space up to the limit. Lastly, I put the heatsink on the CPU and closed the case. This doesn't make the temperature much higher. And in the graph you can see that the fan only sometimes turns on. Unfortunately, it was a little louder from time to time. So overall the official case probably doesn't offer the best cooling, but it does offer a good cooling. That's all for today. Next time I will compare the performance of the Pi 4 against the Pi 5. So stay tuned and subscribe. Have a nice day.